Hey everybody, welcome to day 30 of 30 of this little project. Uh, this will be the end for uh, a while. Uh, I'll, I'll take a little break, but um, this the prompt is a song that reminds you of yourself, so I figured I'd sing one of my songs, uh, and I figured it would be appropriate to do a protest song. This is called What's Stu New? Uh, this is a song about a real person uh, named Stu Rasmussen, uh, who is the mayor of a town called Silverton, Oregon. I heard about this story on Radiolab. Uh, if you want to go watch an uh, episode of Radiolab, uh, I'd strongly encourage that you do. I thought it would be appropriate because it's about people um, protesting for the rights of someone who uh, is not like them. Uh, the right for that person to uh, be a, a human being and a citizen of the world that is um, cared for and respected uh, and given the right to exist. So I thought that was important right now. Um, I also want to say it was important that when I wrote this song, uh, I use language that is respectful to, to Stu and his experience. So um, Stu's preferred uh, gender identity is uh, male, even though he identifies as trans and was a born male. You can read more about that uh, or listen to the episode. Um, and uh, if, it, if, if you're worried about any language that I use, if you're uh, an advocate of the, the trans community and think that I could do this better, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm always trying to be sensitive to that. Uh, if you are bothered by the fact that I wrote a song about a trans person, um, I would suggest that you look around the world that we live in and get the hell over it. Uh, I also need to have a warning here that I do use the F word in this song. So um, by that, I mean um, I, I name Fred Phelps, and I apologize for that. I also say fuck. So. <laughs> Rasmussen grew up in Silverton, Oregon, a sleepy conservative town. He was working at the movies in 74 when the Rocky Horror Picture came around. He had an epiphany looking up at the screen because he knew he felt just the same as Tim Curry when he sang Sweet Transsexual from Transylvania. He started painting his nails to the surprise of the males who had known him all his life. But it didn't stop Stu from doing what he knew In fact, he even married him a wife He had short skirts, blouses, had breast implants People asked her what was she thinking She says, I don't mind at all In fact, the most fun we have is getting kinky when we've been drinking If you want to find out what you can learn from yourself You just take a little tip from Stu See, there was the man that found the woman in him And didn't care if anybody knew Silverton so much he decided he would run for election. Conservative media picked up the story, Russia never had so much fun. But when the numbers came in to the right chagrin, it was more than the pundits could bear. Because Stu Rasmussen of Silverton, Oregon, became the nation's first transgendered mayor. If you want to find out what you can learn from yourself, you just take a little tip from Stu. There was the man that found a woman in him And now the whole damn country knew Fred Phelps was an evangelical bigot And he thought that God was too He brought his church up to Rathson To preach all about the sin that was old lovable stew well, the town didn't take to a hateful faith that would condemn one of their own. So the women and men of Silverton, they got up and took to the phone. By late afternoon, that hateful platoon was surrounded three to one. Stu's friends and neighbors had all shown up in force, and they decided they would have a little fun. Every cowboy and logger were dressed in drag, protesting in defense of Stu. Holding signs that said God loves everybody when they could have said Fred, fuck you. If you want to find out what you can learn from yourself, you just take a little tip from Stu. See, there was the man that found the woman in him and found the good in people too.
Stay safe out there, everybody. I'll see you soon.